Welcome back everybody. So here we are with one of the cheapest clamp meters on Amazon. In fact, this is the cheapest clamp you can buy uh, with basically next day delivery, prime as I like to call it. Um, so yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap. Is it any good? Now it is not the cheapest, no, that one is on order and uh, almost a month and a half, it says six weeks, four to six weeks for delivery, but that is the cheapest clamp coming and I'll do a full review, review of that when it comes in. But for now, this is the cheapest clamp you can get next day, whoa! So on the box, it has that black and yellow, black and orange. Hey, I like the color combo, uh, easy to see. And uh, that C-clamp transformer, yeah, you know, it's a little on the small side, smaller than I was thinking, but nonetheless, I uh, should be interesting to see how it performs. Get that nice box, basic box, digital clamp meter. Uh, this one is actually called the 3266. Um, a trend box is the uh, the OEM, but I mean, who knows who the real manufacturer is. Uh, it comes in as a trend box. Here is the user guide. According user to man. the specs here, wow, look at that. It's got diode, continuity, NCV, yada, yada, yada. Even, even uh, DC current, not. No, it doesn't have any of those. So of course, uh, take it with a grain of salt. A lot of times these generic style meters and clamps that come in uh, don't ship with half of what they're talking Cheapo about. test leads. And let's try the pull test. Uh, survived, survived the pull test. Here, cheap PVC. Uh, not really sharp as well. Tiny shrouding on the back. Um, no color coding on the meter as well. And if we stick it in, oh well, it's in there tight. Yeah, definitely tight. Um, but just cheap, cheesy test leads. Meter itself is comparable in size to, oh, I'd say that Kaiweets HT206D. Uh, comparable in size, but that's about it, obviously. Nowhere near the features uh, of the, um, Kaiweets, but it does have a little bit of weight to it, which is actually quite surprising. Um, yeah. So you know, it's the head on the Kaiweets, um, uh, much more linear in design. Pretty well has the same opening clamp wise, um, but linear as opposed to that C style. Manual as well that it ships with, just a basic overview of the instrument. 2000 counts, uh, sampling speed two times per second, powered by two AAA batteries. Um, now this is the 3266L, and as you can see, uh, AC 20 amps, uh, AC 200 amps, AC 600 amps, 600 volts AC, uh, that's NCV, DC volts up to 600, diode, and a low, lousy resistance range up to 200 mega ohm. Um, it doesn't do diode though. I don't know where we're getting that from, but uh, we have no diode select on this meter. Now that selector switch, um, it's okay, surprisingly. You could definitely one hand this uh, with a glove as well because you have pretty good teeth here on that dial selector. Um, we have the basic off position there at the six o'clock. But look at how hard that dial is to read. That indicator needs to be color coded. So, you know, painted white or orange, whatever, but anything but black. Other than that though, pretty easy to read dial. We have our one touch hold as well. And yeah. LCD display, 2000 counts. Um, it's okay, you know, contrast wise, it's not as bad as I was expecting. Um, it's definitely workable. Um, it, the font, if we compare it to that Kaiweeds, for instance, actually it seems to be a little more contrasty. So maybe a little bit easier to read than the Kaiweeds for some very bizarre reason. Um, and it really not as much glare susceptibility as the Kaiweeds as well, so interesting. But um, yeah, you know, for a cheapo, and I mean, I'm talking, $18 shipped all in, $18 Canadian, about 14 US dollars. That's cheek, cheek, that's not cheek, that's cheap. Take a look at the selector switch, starting at the six o'clock off position. Resistance from two kilo ohm to two mega oh. volts DC, up to 600 volts. NCV or live wire. AC volts up to 600 volts. Finally, amps, high current amps up to 600, down to 20 amps AC. At the top, we have the one touch hold. At the bottom of the unit, we have on the far left for our NCV or live wire detection, the middle, our common or ground, and finally the far input right jack for voltage as well as resistance. And as you can see, yeah, they are not color coded. Bad. On the back, the little unit is powered by two AAA batteries. Simply remove the one Phillips screw and bada bing, bada bang, you are in. Actually a fairly decent uh, clamp mechanism in terms of the trigger action. You do have to give it some definite force to push it down, so not bad. So once again, in 
DC voltage. We only have that one 600 volt setting. Oh my God, that's so high. Uh, this is a 10 voltage output uh, precision reference and we're coming in as nine volts. So, oh well, at least it's in the ballpark. And AC volts faring a little bit better, 117 volts coming up. Remember, it's not true RMS. Shouldn't really matter so much uh, for a 60 hertz uh, test, but uh, yeah, 117, close enough. Okay, so to use the non-contact voltage, we have to stick it into this input, the one with the little lightning bolt. Oh my God, so technical. And there we go, it's in there. Is it gonna work? Kind of weird. First of all, it's not your standard non-contact. It uh, does nothing, absolutely nothing. So uh, it only is like a live wire uh, to text. So if stick it into the, what? Oh, that's just weird. All right, so this thing is absolute crap. Does not pick up anything in live wire mode. Can you imagine trusting this with your life? Oh. And just to show I'm not totally crazy, uh, here's that Kiwi's and NCV mode. Yeah, definitely picking up that juice. And once again with our DT3266L, nada, garbage. Resistance mode is a little bit better. Obviously 1.00, excellent. Um, all right, now let's try 100 kilo ohm. And yeah, there it is, pretty good, pretty close. Beauty. Okay, here we go. We have the uh, DT3266L hooked up to a ceramic space heater and let's give it a whirl, see how this compares. I'm gonna put a few more clamps on the test bed as well and we'll just quickly get an overview of how accurate it is. Okay, bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. Here we go. So first thing you notice, it is pretty slow to get up to speed here. And it's still counting, pushing four amps right now, four amps, and it's still going. Wow, it is slow though, oh my God. So there you go, seems to be hitting us up at around 5.3 amps. All right. Up next, we got a little must tool. Now this one is an automatic. Turn it on, it's gonna automatically go into AC amps. And wow, that's a lot faster, isn't it? Holy moly cannoli. 5.37 amps and a little higher. It's going a little higher, 5.5. And it seems to be good. So let's put that on hold. 5.49 for the must tool. Next up, we have our Kiwiths. Wow, what a great performer this was. Man, this is one cool clamp. Let's just get it into our AC mode. And look at that beautiful display. Reading a little bit higher than the other two. Kiwiths is coming up as about 5.9 already. So let's just hold that reading. 5.9 it is, one more. Okay, here's the big Sanwa. Yeah, we take no prisoners on this channel. Mr. Sanwa, look at that, it is going. All right, so 5.4 amps for the Sanwa. Let's just hold that. And, and there you have it. 5.5 for the Sanwa, 5.4 for the Must Tool, 5.37 for the little DT32, and finally 5.9 for the Kiwiits. So they were all in the general ballpark. Um, if anything, probably the Kiwiits was reading a little bit higher than the rest of the clamps. So they yeah, have the little one, eh, did the job. Okay, time for a quick teardown. Here we are, uh, two AAA batteries, what powers this little beast. Um, opposite side, no shielding, anything like that. Just some cheap plastic going on here. Nothing fancy. Here is the main crux of the unit. Uh, yeah, 
not as bad actually as I was thinking. Um, that PCB looks pretty good, no flux, no residue, nice and clean. Um, let's start off with the bottom inputs there, split variety. Yeah, those are the cheapo type as well, you know, minute soldering going on. Uh, you know, how long is this gonna last? Probably not that long, but uh, well, it's a cheapie. Here we have the number seven IC. No, it's not a number seven IC, it's just labeled as number seven, I don't know why. But, uh, take that off and yeah, it's just cobbed. So uh, nothing else going on here. Uh, thick film capacitor, two of the inputs for the batteries. Here we have an op amp at the top of the LM358. We have some heat shrinking going on as well. Now that's actually nice to see on a cheapo, and that is uh, connecting into the transformer. Um, so that's surprising. There's our one touch hold as well. Fairly robust, all things considered. So uh, interesting. Now we do have some adjustable trim pots as well. So uh, perhaps we can make this a little bit uh, more accurate with some tweaking if we really wanted to do that. One PTC on the voltage side. Basically that is it. And here's that spring for the clamp. Uh, pretty robust, all things considered. Now we do have a plastic inlay, but hey, we see that on even expensive clamp meters. So that's really no surprise. Okay, gonna put everything back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the GT3266L. Eh, pass this one by. Yes, it is cheap, but all things considered, it's just not worth it. Let's face it, in terms of overall feature set, it is severely lacking. Uh, I mean, that one 600 volt AC mode and DC mode just kind of sucks. So uh, it's hard to do much with such a limited Despite range as well. It does not do DC current, not have an NCV mode, which is still weird as heck couldn't figure it out just plain well doesn't work we have a light symbol as well which well i never saw it go off once what the heck is that all about anyway a dismal two mega ohm resistance range and uh, at the end of the day what can i say the only really good thing about this meter besides it's cheap is the fact that that display for whatever reason is very easy on the eyes despite the fact it lacks a backlight now spend a few bucks more and you can get into a better quality clamp that can do much, much more. The DT3266L Jippo Amazon Clamp Meter gets a dismal 1.5 out of 5 stars. You yeah, save those hard-earned dineros and get something better. Hope you enjoyed this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.